Well, uh, we are finally got a day or so to be able to work on the winch. So we got our plate in, we've got our, our materials. We got a winch plate from Rough Stuff Off-Road. It's really thick quarter inch steel. All the other ones, I looked at the Harbor Freight mount, um, but it was a little bit thinner. Not much thinner, but just a little bit thinner. And I just, I don't know, the price wasn't that much more. And plus, this one had a little bit more universal uh, capabilities, and the widths and dimensions just kind of fit what I'm looking at a little bit better than that one did. So, again, this is from Rough Stuff. It's really good looking plate, um, really strong, really thick. So, there's our plate, and then we just got some simple three inch angle iron, quarter inch thick as well. And this is what's going to come off of our bumper mounts through our bumper right in here and come out and then our plate will mount to the top of that and then we'll kind of box it in around it and make it look neat nice looking All right, guys, the other side is in. The holes are drilled. We kind of, I just kind of cleaned up around the holes with a DA and the other side holes are drilled. So significantly beefier, just a little bit more to, to mount to, make it a little bit sturdier. All right, guys, it's, uh. I don't know how many days been working on this, but uh, we're back on it tonight. It's uh, hot, hot as a weed eater in a pawn shop in here. But um, I've got one side sliding through the bumper. So I wanted just to kind of show you real quick because I don't know if it's been real clear exactly what I was thinking. I got some cleaning up to do on this. Um, but just to kind of show you, I cut a slit here in the bumper Tried to cut it real neat. I drilled two holes first and then just cut between them and then just kind of opened it up to fit the angle iron. Uh, we put the bumper back on and I got Andrew just to kind of hold it there. I put a couple bolts in there just to hold it so I could mark it on the inside so we'd know, cause you gotta remember it's a quarter of an inch in now. And so I think I can do this with one hand. So now this angle iron that the you see we notched it and you just that will go right through the bumper like that okay we got both cut bumper slits in both going through so what i did was got them in there leveled them out with a level and just kind of tacked them uh tacked the angle iron to the frame um i gotta go get some bolts i don't have any bolts to go through to hold everything together. So I'll have to go tomorrow and get some bolts and then we can start fitting. But this is kind of a rough, rough idea. It sticks out a little further than I want it to. Well, we're not gonna know till we get the bumper actually on there. I may can, we may can actually scoot it in a little bit closer. All right, so we got, last night I got the holes drilled from the angle iron to the frame. I just kind of tacked it on there where the weld would hold it nice and straight, leveled it out, drilled my holes, broke the tack welds. I got those here. So we've got three nice pretty holes in the angle iron. Just got back from the hardware store. Good old bolts. So now the objective today is to fit the bumper, we're gonna have to trim our angle iron because you can see this is not straight on the front. It's got an angle to it coming to this point. So we're gonna have to get it all nice and fit. I'm also starting to realize, I think the winch is gonna sit a lot lower than I want it to because lower means further out from the, from the front. So I wanna, I wanna tuck the winch in as close as I can 
to the grill uh, just so you got less hanging weight way out front. All right, so this is kind of what I'm looking at. I put in uh, some leftover material there in the middle from the tire carrier. This don't worry about this. I don't look at that. That's the only piece I could find short enough uh, to shim it up equally. <laughs> but uh, just trying to get an idea of where it needs to sit. If I went flat down to the angle iron without the pieces in the middle, the winch sets out really, really far because it has to clear, the back of the plate has to clear the front of the bumper. I like the height of it down low because it blocks less wind going into the radiator. Um, so I like that, but I don't like the fact that it sets so far out. Probably what I'm gonna do is use some of this, cut it the same way this one's cut, but at a better slant to fit snug up against the bumper, come out and probably just go flat. And then we'll angle our, our angle iron some, make it like a nice neat looking cut coming out. And then we'll box in across the bottom of the front. So it'll look, it'll look really neat. And, and it'll bolt all the way through. I probably still will weld this and I may even cap it on the outside with a little piece of sheet metal just to make it look neater. So that's as far as I got today, guys. It's hot and today is Judah's birthday. Turns nine years old today. So anyway, so I think I'm gonna call it right there and uh, go inside and get ready for his party. And uh, we'll be back at this tomorrow. All right, guys, we are here uh, day three or four. I don't know. So kind of got the afternoon somewhat free. So I'm gonna try to make some progress today. guys so here we are we've got it bolted down we've got some three and a half inch long half inch grade eight bolts but i just wanted to kind of cut it off get everything kind of the winch is not bolted down but the holes are lined up where where it's going to be so i think it's looking pretty good i'm going to get some cardboard out and kind of play around with some ideas but all right, I did a little draw in here. I think we're gonna leave the plate alone. I'm gonna come off under it with a, a little slant all the way down. And then we'll trim this one just at an angle, just to kind of make it look a little better from the side, kind of not just so blocky and square. Well guys, uh, I think I'm pretty much done. Um, Got to take it back apart, paint it, do a little cleanup on it, and then put it back together, wire the winch in, and I think we'll be good to go. I, I, I really like the way that it, it turned out. Um, the plate that I ended up using was some that I had um, around back. I think it's like eight, it's, it wasn't quite eighth inch, uh, maybe like three thirty seconds or something like that. Um, but still, it really, you know, good rigid front um i think i'm gonna leave it like it is all we got left to do is like i said paint it wire in the winch so kind of just went with this see we got a nice little angle on the side everything lines up really good i'm gonna run it that was a lot of things I had thought I was going to do, but you know, once you start building this stuff, like with the tire carrier and the roof rack, things just kind of, you, you kind of build it as you go. You get a rough idea and it develops as it goes. You see over here, got a, got a little cleaning up to do on the welds and uh, 
it's not bolted down. It's just kind of sitting up there with the bolts through it. I like it. I, I, that's pretty much exactly what I had envisioned. I'm gonna get it all apart. Tomorrow, reinstall it, wire the winch up. But anyway, I'm gonna go get some water, sit down for a minute, and then see if I can talk Andrew into coming out and helping me get all this took apart and cleaned up and painted. All right, guys, welcome to the final day of the winch build. We, uh, everything is painted. Got the frame touched up and painted. Um, we've got the mount painted. We've got the plate painted. Um, I went to the hardware store, got a few last remaining little odd and end things. I went ahead and put the fair lead on the plate. Looks real nice. Andrew ran to the studio real quick to do some stuff on some mugs. As soon as she gets back though, we're gonna put this thing together and um, get it mounted up, wire it up, and go figure some way and test it out. I know that's not a really great real world test because we weren't technically stuck in anything um, but it was an uphill pull I'm not gonna go purposely get stuck to find out but it was an uphill pull what I was mostly looking for was any kind of flex or anything in it that anything moved I didn't think it would and of course it didn't so yeah there's the finished product <music> most part done with it I ran out of steel it and I had to use just some like stainless steel paint that I use in restoration stuff 
Let's see, you can kind of tell where I touched up a few, <laughs> a few spots, but it'll be fine. We got a little trip planned before we go to Arkansas, probably next week. And uh, who knows, we might get to use it then and try it. I would, I'm not going to go purposefully get stuck, but I wouldn't mind really using it. But uh, I'm sure at some point it will get used. So anyway, it's done. We like it. I think it looks good. Fits everything well. So uh, thanks for watching. Tell them what you did with your phone. Oh, I left it on top of the tire because we were screwing through the fender well to mount the on off switch and had it on top of the tire my, my light and forgot about it. And ran over it. And backed out and ran over it. But look, it's okay. It's fine. Does it work? Yeah. I saw it turned on. I heard it crunch and I was like, what does that sound? That's what it was. Oh, of the, ah, look at that. Yeesh. Look.